Welcome and good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome and uh, to the 2022 Teacher of the Year celebration. I'm Greg Dowell, Chairman of the Williamsburg James City County School Board. And uh, on behalf of my colleagues here to my left, some of your rights, I'm honored to welcome you here tonight. Uh, I'd like to introduce my colleagues. Um, I'll start at the end. And as I do, call out your name if you'll stand. Uh, our Vice Chair, Dr. Beers. Please stand, Dr. Beers. Uh, our parliamentarian, <laughs> Ms. Julie Hummel, <laughs> I apologize, Ms. Kara Cook, <laughs> Ms. Sandra Young, Ms. Sarah Ortego, and Ms. Kim Hundley. Thank you for being here this evening. I'm sorry, Julie, you are one of my favorites, I apologize. <laughs> Uh, we also partner with our local elected officials to uh, serve our community, and we thank you for your support and for joining us this evening. I want to take a moment to recognize a few that did take uh, this moment to be a part of this evening. Um, we have from the James City County Board of Supervisors, Chair John McGlennon, if you'll stand, sir. Mr. Jim Eisenhower. And Ms. Ruth Larson. Thank you for being here. We also have from the Williamsburg City Council, Mr. Ted Maslin. Thank you, sir. I hope I haven't missed anybody else from the City Council, but we also have Williamsburg City Manager, Andrew Trivet with us this evening as well. I'd like to thank our gracious host, the William & Mary School of Education, Dean Robert Noble. Could you stand to be recognized? Yep, he's still with us. Thank you, sir. And uh, thank you for allowing us this space, this beautiful venue as well. Thank you, sir. Finally, I'd like to introduce to you Dr. Owen Heron, our superintendent of schools. And it's a pleasure to introduce you, Dr. Heron. Thank you, Mr. Dial, and good evening, everyone. I've been looking forward tonight to tonight for a very long time. Not only are we celebrating our exceptional educators, but we're celebrating this moment in person with our community, something we haven't been able to do for the last two years. Celebrating our teachers' contributions is one of the greatest joys of my job, and I am really delighted to be here with you this evening. Our teachers have gone above and beyond in these extraordinary times. You will be introduced tonight to the best and brightest our division has to offer, a bar that is already high and, uh, and has been raised even higher as we navigated the last two years. Let's take this moment to thank all of our educators this evening. I would like to recognize all previous teachers of the years present this evening. If you are a past teacher of the year from last year or any other year, will you please stand at this moment in time? <clears throat> we are also celebrating tonight the incredible support our community shares for our teachers and the school division. For the past decade, the Superintendent's Business and Community Advisory Committee sponsored our Teacher of the Year celebration. These business and community leaders have provided me with invaluable insight and much appreciated support, and I'm grateful for their continued guidance. Mr. Mr. Dustin DeVore, who leads this distinguished group, was unable to be here this evening, but I want to publicly thank him for his leadership and support. I believe joining us tonight are Mr. Barber, and Mr. Poole present this evening, if you would just stand to be recognized as well. <clears throat> Thank you for all you've done over the past decade to honor our teachers and celebrate their contributions to the community. This evening we will pass the baton, or as we say in Ireland, the baton. <clears throat> The baton of sponsorship, and I'm thrilled to announce tonight that the WJCC Schools Foundation will continue this wonderful tradition as title sponsors of our Teacher of the Year ceremony. I'm deeply grateful for the foundation for taking on this role, 
and I'd like to invite all WJCC Schools Foundation board members to please stand and be recognized. Thank you for carrying on this celebra celebration this evening. And at this moment, I'd like to invite Ms. Pooley, Chair of the WJCC Schools Foundation, forward to make some remarks. Ms. Pooley. Thank you, Dr. Heron, Chairman Dowell, and all distinguished guests. It is my honor to represent the WJCC Schools Foundation which was established in 2015 with the goal of providing community resources to support classroom innovation. Because the first tenet of the school's foundation is to enrich teaching, we are proud that today we can honor teachers who enrich their classrooms every day. And since our second tenet is to inspire learning, we're thrilled to recognize you as our most inspirational teachers. You are the conduit to serving our mission to provide resources to help WJCC schools meet their own goals of education excellence for all students. As you may know, since our inception, we have distributed nearly $260,000 in grants to around 300 teachers. Through this foundation, our community has delivered over a quarter of a million dollars into classrooms all over the school division, in every school, at every grade level. That's how much our community supports you and believes in you and values your ideas. Many of you here today are grant recipients, and we hope you will keep the ideas and grant requests coming. We love to reward innovative teaching ideas, and today we are honored to reward the most innovative teachers. This is the school's foundation first year to sponsor this event, honoring the teachers of the year, picking up the baton from the business and community advisory members to join together with all of Williamsburg and James City County residents to salute you and thank you for your dedication to your craft. And one final thought, you teachers routinely pour all you have into your classrooms, but we truly hope that you'll use these financial gifts provided to you by the WJCC Schools Foundation to celebrate yourselves and honor that you have earned. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Pooley. We are so fortunate to have a team of business and community leaders, true partners in education, champion our teachers now and in the future. Thank you so much again. I'd like now to invite School Board Chair Mr. Dowell back up here to introduce our Rookie Teachers of the Year. Mr. Dowell. Okay. In 2019, our division launched a new award to complement the Teacher of the Year honor. WJCC Schools remains committed to the retention and celebration of high quality staff. So tonight we will name a new class of rookie teachers of the year and to recognize outstanding performance and superior instructional skills among teachers in their first year of the profession. As I call the names of these teachers, I ask Dr. Heron and Ms. Pulley to join me in presenting each teacher with a token of our appreciation. Teachers, please remain up front when you receive your token. Uh, Dr. Heron, Ms. Pooley. From Clareburg Baker Elementary School, Haley Lissel, Lysel, I apologize. <laughs> From J. Blaine Blayton Elementary School, Jessica Wilcox. <laughs> From James River Elementary School, Kate Mulbauer. From Laurel Lane Elementary School, Jake Paulson. Congratulations. Congratulations. From Matthew Whaley Elementary School, Katie Epperberry.
from Norwich Elementary School, Rayvon Patrick. From Berkeley Middle School, Lauren Kelly. From James Blair Middle School, Dante Copeland. Congratulations. From Lois S. Hornsby Middle School, Laura Bodet. From Jamestown High School, Caroline Bishop. And from Lafayette High School, Victoria Eastep. From among these first year teachers, one has been selected as the 2022 WJCC Rookie Teacher of the Year. Please join me in congratulating Norge Elementary School teacher Rayvon Patrick as the 2022 WJCC Rookie Teacher of the Year. The son of a teacher, Coach Patrick, First hand saw the hours, the effort, and the challenges of being a teacher, but he didn't shy away from it. He ran towards it. He saw in his mother a life dedicated to service, integrity, and determination. And he set out on that same course, striving to make every day better for every student. With a smile in the bus line or a high five to welcome students into class, or simply asking how they're doing, Coach Patrick has created an atmosphere at Norwich Elementary School of learning and fun. Just as importantly, he has built the foundation for a career we're so very proud to start here. Coach Patrick, congratulations on being WJCC's 2022 Rookie Teacher of the Year. <laughs> on behalf of the school board, it's a great honor to celebrate accomplishments of teachers new to the field, and we look forward to their con contributions to our community for many years to come. Thank you to all of our rookie teachers. Sincerely, thank you and for being here and being a part of the team. And now I'll hand the mic back over to Dr. Merrick. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dowell, and congratulations, Mr. Patrick. Um, I had the privilege to observe uh, Coach Patrick transform Norge Gym into an Olympic stadium. I happened to be there visiting one day, and, and Ms. Matthews took me to his classroom, and literally there were Winter Olympic events all over the gym, and the children were going in and out and having an absolutely incredible time. And um, you really are in, incredible, Mr. Patrick, and, and I'm glad you're with us joining WJC. And congratulations, all the Rookie Teachers of the Year. I hope you stay with us for a very long time. <clears throat> our Outstanding Teachers of the Year elevate public education beyond excellence. They champion our students and their families, our communities, and education across the state. It is their efforts and their dedication that shape the students of today and the leaders of tomorrow. It is now my greatest pleasure to introduce the WJCC's Teachers of the Year for each school. Ms. Pooley, Mr. Dial, if you would join me, please. Teachers, as your name is called, please join us up front to be recognized. You may return to your seat once you receive a gift from the foundation. <clears throat> From Bright Beginnings, Paige Hanna. <clears throat> From Clara Bird Baker Elementary School, Marie Parks.
too late, Mr. Hurley. Next time. <laughs> From DJ Montague Elementary School, Tamara Donovan. From J. Blaine Blayton Elementary School, Sarah, Sarah Schleicher. <laughs> From James River Elementary School, Tracy Clary. From Laurel Lane, Lane Elementary School, Stephanie Klein. <laughs> From Matoka Elementary School, Allison Howell. From Matthew Whaley Elementary School, Christine McBee. <laughs> From Norge Elementary School, Rachel Davis. for those photographs. From Stonehouse Elementary School, April Ferruli. From Berkeley Middle School, Robin Jones. From James Blair Middle School, Jenny March. <laughs> From Lois Hornsby Middle School, Jisoo Kim. From Tuano Middle School, Emily Hotcob. <laughs> From Jamestown High School, Joy Tyson. From Lafayette, <laughs> sorry I jumped in much too quickly there, from Lafayette High School, Andrew Lynn. <laughs> and from Warhill High School, Jerome Rhodes. On behalf of WJCC Schools, I would like to thank each of you for your commitment to excellence and for the contributions you make in and out of the classroom each and every day. To get to know our Teachers of, year, of the Year a little better, please turn your attention to the screen.
as a teacher, people don't realize that we have to do lots of different things and they would never guess that I have to knock on the door and say, okay, take your shoes off before you change your pants if you had an accident. The first thing that comes to mind for the best advice is from my first year principal in Fairfax County and it was the first day of school and I tell all of my student teachers the same advice. Feed them and get them home on the right bus. <laughs> the first day, as long as you do those two things, you won. I think maybe my students would be surprised to know that I can walk on stilts and ride a unicycle. But I have been in eight musicals here at Lafayette High School. Um, that I am an excellent cook. Uh, in fact, I'm more of on the science part of cooking, so I'm a baker. Advice that I would give to a novice teacher is that you really need to get out of your room and watch other people do this. Know your why, you're here for the kids, and when you make, when you make decisions instructionally, to make sure that you're doing it in the best, best interest of the child. The best advice I've ever gotten for teaching is not to be afraid when the lesson plan crashes and burns. Throw it to the side, feed off the kids, let them drive the bus, see where it goes. Sometimes that bus may crash right off that cliff along with your lesson plans, but it's okay. I think we forget that learning is play. Play is learning. And sometimes you just have to let it go and play. My teaching superpower, my enthusiasm. I can sell kids on broccoli ice cream. I'm telling you, if you are enthusiastic enough about something, kids are gonna learn it. As a teacher, something that might surprise people is we have a lot of dance parties. <laughs> um, just to you know, keep them loose when they start getting wiggly and they need a little break, we have dance parties. We'll send out a message and you know, the principals will come down, the nurse might come down, and we'll, uh, we'll rock out in here for a few minutes and then get back to work. <laughs> It's funny, when I was a grade school student, I actually wanted to be a teacher. <laughs> I remember in fifth grade, um, I loved my math teacher in fifth grade. I'm like, I went home and told my mom, I'm gonna be a math teacher like her one day. And she said, are you sure? Like, <laughs> I was like, you're only in fifth grade. She's like, math gets a lot harder than fifth grade. When I was in grade school, I actually wanted to be a pediatrician. I wanted to work with kids in a different way. Um, but then once I had the ability to work with children, um, I worked in inner city in Baltimore, I realized that my heart was working with kids that um, needed a different approach with trauma. So that's why my heart is in the classroom. My <laughs> um, hope for my students um, is that they love learning. So I get them when they are very little coming into the school system. So just planting that seed of loving school, loving learning, and realizing that school is just a fun place to be. I think my hope always, every year for my students, is if they leave here feeling um, confident, feeling respected and loved, and that they can do it. My hope for my students is that they love education the way they do now. My students are so hungry to learn, and I just want them to stay that way and go into high school and just thrive because they're doing amazing this year. For them to realize their potential, for them to understand that anything and all things can be possible if they persevere they will learn to love themselves and appreciate who they are as individuals. And they will recognize that it doesn't matter how much they grow, it's just that they're willing to grow. All I can say is, wow, are we fortunate to have teachers like this in WJCC schools. As superintendent, it's heartwarming to hear our teachers' hopes for their students, to see their hopes transform into confidence and for that confidence to build dreams. I know they are working every day to bring those students' hopes to life and dreams to fruition. Thank you again, all Teachers of the Year. Let's give one more round of applause for the Building Teachers of the Year. Before I introduce and tell you a little bit about our level teachers of the year, I'd like to share with you something that happened last week. Um, we had the opportunity to surprise our level teachers of the year in their classrooms. When I revealed that Miss Klein was our elementary school teacher of the year, we heard one of her kindergartens say 
well, the, since she's the teacher of the year, that, make, that means we're the kids of the year. <laughs> and I thought, you know, he's right. <laughs> they are the kids of the year. Why? Because all our WJCC students are kids of the year because they are taught by the absolute best. And I can, and I mean every minute, every piece of that. So with that, I now have the pleasure of telling you a little bit about our level teachers of the year. Stephanie Klein is WJCC's elementary school teacher of the year. Ms. Klein, please join me up front. <laughs> While describing one of the first classrooms she walked into as a preschooler, Ms. Klein speaks of wonder and magic, of creation and imagination, and she speaks of the influence and inspiration of her preschool teacher, her grandmother. A woman of great passion, charisma, and innovation, her grandmother exemplified those qualities, qualities that Ms. Klein imparts every day in her own kindergarten classroom. Ms. Klein believes kindergarten represents the beginning of her educational journey. It's the foundation the rest of education builds upon. It's the time and place that remarkable kindergarten teachers plant the seed of intellectual curiosity. It's where they craft lasting experiences in engaging environments. It's the environment Ms. Klein constructs by creating voices while reading and singing by inviting community speakers to her classroom, and by designing elaborate gingerbread houses for her students. It's like the dance party we joined when visiting Ms. Klein last week. Her classroom, it's a place where learning comes to life. To Ms. Klein, there are few experiences that arrive at the moment a child reads their first words. It sparks confidence and joy, creating a student-teacher relationship filled with trust and respect. Those moments water the seed and better prepare students for the challenges and the victories to come. Ms. Klein continuously challenges herself to create new immersive environments for her students to learn. She uses multi-sensory, hands-on and movement-based instruction. Reading and writing only encapsulates some of her daily focus in the classroom. In her application, she talks about encouraging students to express their feelings, understand their emotions, and apply everything they learn inside and outside the classroom. I know Miss Klein students will take their love of school and the magic cast through Miss Klein and first her grandmother onto the next grade and into the world. Stephanie Klein, Stephanie, congratulations on being named Laurel Lane and WJCC Elementary Teacher of the Year. Emily Cobb is WJCC's Middle School Teacher of the Year. Ms. Cobb, please join me up front. <laughs> I believe teaching is a calling. A great teacher isn't a person who woke up one day and decided to teach. It is someone who believes they were meant to better their community through teaching. That's not Aristotle, or Horace Mann, or me. That's how Miss Cobb started her application essay. It's a sentiment almost too big for paper. It's a belief ingrained in all educators, even if we couldn't articulate it as well as Miss Cobb. The thing about a calling is that it drives you and inspires you, as we saw the calling happened early in Miss Cobb's life. In, ele in elementary school, she tutored her classmates continuing through high school. As a teen, she helped younger children stay organized. In college, she provided programming to help bridge the knowledge gap among local students. <clears throat> in her essay, Ms. Cobb wrote about a concept in math, the productive struggle. We didn't learn about that one in Ireland. <laughs> Instead of shying away from a problem, it calls you to embrace it, focus, and collaborate with others to solve it. 
She reminds us in her application that mathematics is built upon collaboration and expansion. But it's not just a theory to Miss Cobb. One of her favorite parts of the day is meeting with other teachers, reviewing what worked, what didn't, and how to lift each other up and keep teaching. Math is definitely a riddle, a mystery of variables and equations, but Miss Cobb makes it tangible for her students. She connects the abstract to the real, the distant to the relatable. It's a puzzle of many pieces and somehow they all fit together. With Miss Cobb's guidance, her students figure out how the pieces fit together, and in the process, they realize the most important pieces are often themselves. Miss Cobb, we are grateful that you answered your calling and allowed WJC to be part of your journey. And that journey begins here as the Tuano and WJCC Middle School Teacher of the Year. Congratulations. <laughs> Now, Mr. Jerome Rhodes, WJC School, CC Schools High School Teacher of the Year, please join me up front. <laughs> Effort, honor, ownership. These three simple words, but to Mr. Rhodes, it's the key to success. It's the three guideposts on the path in the pursuit of perfection. It's that pursuit that eliminates failure, and it's that pursuit that takes knowledge and transforms it into tangible results. The very de definition of education, and that all comes from Mr. Rhodes. Early in Mr. Rhodes' life, the teacher guided him towards something he didn't know existed within him, something that measures success not by the outcome, but by the process, something that led Mr. Rhodes down the path of teaching. And mentoring. Mr. Rhodes' efforts go well beyond the physical halls of Warhill and, be and beyond the chime of the final bell. In addition to teaching health and physical education, he serves as the head football coach and the assistant track coach, two sports where effort and determination dictate the final results, perhaps even more than talent or skill. To Mr. Rhodes, pursuing perfection isn't a one-size-fits-all -size recipe, nor does it come with step-by-step -step instructions. It's a mindset. It's setting aside setbacks, staring down adversity, making yourself accountable to others and yourself, and giving the effort necessary to overcome whatever problems lie in the way. When we do that, perfection is well within our, gas, our grasp. Your essay ended very modestly, saying you don't see yourself as an outstanding teacher, just as a teacher. That may be true, but to me and your colleagues, and most importantly, your students, we see you as outstanding. You're a model of the core values of WJCC schools, the Warhill way, and the expectations you set for yourself every single day. You've attained the success you pursued, and you embody that something your teacher taught to a young student years ago. It's that pursuit of determination which brings you here as the Warhill and the WJCC Schools High School Teacher of the Year. Congratulations. <laughs> Mr. Dahl and Ms. Pooley, would you please stay with me at the podium? <laughs> they almost got away. <laughs> Through the WJCC Teacher of the Year program, we were able to recognize and celebrate outstanding teachers from each school, each level, and also one extraordinary individual who will serve as the Division Teacher of the Year and represent WJCC in the Virginia Teacher of the Year program. The Division Teacher of the Year was selected from the three level Teachers of the Year. This outstanding individual was selected among her peers based upon a nominating packet, an interview, 
and observation of performance in the classroom. It is now our pleasure to announce the WJCC Teacher of the Year. Mr. Dial, you have the honor of making this announcement. Okay, big moment, all right. This is pretty cool. Okay, the 2022 Teacher of the Year, Miss Stephanie Klein. Laurel Lane Elementary School. Congratulations, Ms. Klein. Oh, we've got one more gift. Here we go. <clears throat> Congratulations, Ms. Klein, uh, on your achievement as Division Teacher of the Year. Thank you again to the WJC Schools Foundation for sponsoring this event and honouring our teachers. And teachers, congratulations and a heartfelt thank you for all you do for our students, families and community. As we conclude our event this evening, please take a, a few moments and pause. We want to have the Rookie Teachers of the Year please gather to your left side for a photograph. And the Veteran Teachers of the Year please gather to your, your right side of the room for a photograph. I want to say a big thank you again to the Foundation. Thank you everyone for being here to honour our teachers this evening and have a wonderful evening. Thank you. <laughs>